How are you doing? This is Andrew at Flurry PB, and we're going to go over the board manual for the threshold board. Uh, currently, we are on with eyes on mode, so you have a forced shot if you hold it. If you want to turn your eyes off, it's a quick press, and it turns the eyes off. If you want eyes off unlimited rate of fire, you're going to flip dip switch three down, but we'll go over the dip switches in a second. So we're going to turn the whole marker off right now. And I'll bring it up closer to the camera. So hopefully you guys can see that. This little pack is a four pack of dip switches. Dip switch one is your uh, anti-bolt stick. I'm going to leave that on for a threshold. Dip switch two is your eyes on or off to start. When it's up, your eyes start on. When it's down, your eyes start off. Dip switch three is your rate of fire cap with... Uh, eyes off or malfunction mode. So if you turn that off, it's just going to go wherever the speed you bring it at. Um, if you're playing 10, it's going to be 10 regardless. If you have the set to 20, it's just going to start you know, shooting fast. Then dip switch 4 is your tournament lock. So when it's up, your tournament lock is off and you can go into programming mode. When it's down, your tournament lock is on and you have to, you can't program it. If you try to go into programming mode, it's just going to tell you your battery voltage level. Let's do that real quick. We'll pop this one down. Nice and smaller. Flip it down. Hold the trigger, press the button, and it's going to flash how many, how charged the battery is. So four flashes means the battery is mostly fully charged, three flashes, three quarters charged, two flashes, half charge, one flash, you know, you definitely replace the thing by then, probably two flashes replace it by, especially with the solenoid that's in this marker. So we're going to flip dip switch four back up, and now if we hold the trigger, and turn the marker on, we're going to go into programming mode. As the lights flash, I'm going to take my finger off the trigger, and now I'm in my first setting. Uh, the first setting is green. This is going to be your dwell setting. It's set to 12. Uh, you can adjust it from there. Next setting is red. This is our rate of fire. This is set to 10 out of the box, but you can set it from 1 to 40, and anything in between. Next is purple. This is our mechanical, uh, anti-mechanical bounce setup. So what this means is if you're pulling the trigger really slow, it just helps prevent it from bouncing in that particular situation. Not really that useful anymore, considering we don't really play, uh, you know, legal semi anymore. But, you know, it's still nice to have. Next is teal. This is our ball in breach delay. So this is how long it takes before this is going to see the bolt come forward. Once it sees that little gap of the bolt come back, then the ball come down. That's when it's going to understand that it's going to have a delay for that whole cycle to happen to before it lets it shoot again. So this is set to uh, 3 from the factory. And it's half millisecond increments that. Next is yellow. This is our firing mode. There are four firing modes on this. Uh, one flash is semi. Two is traditional automatic. Three is your NXL legal ramp set to modern NXL standards. And four is a more traditional, just parabolic ramp. If you pull the trigger faster, it's just going to keep shooting faster. White is the next thing, and this is our incremental balls per second. So this is from 0 to 0 0.9. So if you're trying to get closer to 10.5 or 10.4, you can set this to 3 to, to get your thing to 10.3 or whatever you're trying to get to. And the last one is blue. This is our debounce. This is set to 5 stock, and it's debounce. If you need more debounce... Bring it up. If you want to let it bounce a bit more, bring it down. To change a setting, you're going to hold the trigger, and you can let go when the light's off. And I'm going to pull the trigger 12 times to set it to 12. If you want to check a setting before you change it, keep holding the trigger and count the flashes. Now you have to reset whatever you did though. So and it will flash to tell you it 
it did the registry and you can move on. When you're done, you just turn it off and just turn it back on. And now you're back in play mode. Did that wrong. Set three down. Just kind of stupid. And that's basically everything. Guys, this is uh, Andrew with Flurry PB, and this is the new threshold board. Thank you.